For the last time in the 2014 regular season, I am joined by Tom Lucci here at the bubble to preview the Scarlet Knights game against the Maryland Terrapins. We've been forced inside from some snow, but thank you for being here, Tom. Now let's get down to the football. Rutgers not facing off with any huge running backs this week in the Maryland offense, but dual quarterback in C.J. Brown, how can they contain him? Who really needs to step up to stop him? Well, first of all, it's a little weird not to be talking about a 1,000-yard rusher because there's so many of them in the Big Ten. You know, we've, we've discussed them. I think there's four in the top ten uh, in the country, uh, maybe five in the top 18 in the country. Uh, and the, the uh, challenge this week with C.J. Brown is he's their leading rusher as well as their, their quarterback and their passer. So that's a little bit different challenge than say a JT Barrett who ran the ball and maybe Navy's quarterback uh, because it's a different kind of offense a different scheme so I, I just think if, if Rutgers is active defensively the way they can be uh, they should they should be able to handle uh, CJ Brown he doesn't have huge rushing numbers although Kyle Flood said today if you take away the sacks he's averaging about five yards a carry but it's a different kind of concept in offense that you're looking at when the quarterback you know rushes the ball that often and you don't have a running back with over 300 yards We're in the last game of the season. So it's a little bit unique and un unusual for this defense to face. And obviously, Ralph Region has some familiarity with this team. A lot, yeah. How, how will that help Rutgers' offense in this game, do you think? Well, I think as Kyle Flood said today, the, the only advantage is uh, Ralph Region knows these players since he recruited some of them. But that was almost five years ago. In the case of C.J. Brown, he's a six-year senior. He was there in 2009 when, when Ralph recruited him. We're talking 2014. You know, Ralph wasn't part of the development. So, you know, in, in that regard, I don't know if it's an advantage because Ralph didn't develop all these these guys, but he does know the personnel. He does understand their ability. So uh, that should help a little bit. You, you always want any kind of advantage in terms of familiarity that you can get. So it won't hurt. Let's put it that way. And now there's been a lot of talk about this being a regional matchup and how that adds to it in terms of scouting in the, in the future, recruiting, and yeah. to the players today playing on Saturday. How do you think that impacts the players on the team? Well, I hope it develops into a rivalry, just as I hope Penn State does, because uh, I'm in agreement with Kyle Flood on this. Well, college football is at its best when it's regional, and these are Rutgers' most regional rivals in the Big Ten, and it would make sense if these could develop into those kind of rivalries, because it seems like everybody in the Big Ten has a trophy game. You know, I'm really looking forward to the day that Rutgers has a trophy game, whether it's with Maryland or Penn State, whoever it might be. Those are the most likely candidates. And so you hope that it develops. You don't want bad blood, obviously, as we saw, I think, the Maryland, the start of the kickoff Maryland Penn State. But you want it to be a good, healthy rivalry that goes back and forth and there's a lot of give and take. So hopefully this is the start of it, even though Rutgers has played Maryland in the past. Now they know they're playing them every year. You know, so you have that every year basis and you have a chance to allow that to develop. And you also have the recruiting impact because both schools recruit in the other school's territory. So hopefully this will be the rivalry and eventually we'll get a trophy game out of it and that'd be a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much again, Tom. We'll see you before the bowl game. It might be a little while. And yeah. that yeah. game will air on ESPNU at 3.30 this Saturday from the bubble with Tom Lucci. I'm Taryn Hatcher. Have a happy and a healthy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.